Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching One Punch Man episode 7. So last episode we had some more One Punch Man shenanigans. We had that random, what was it, that random uh, monster that looked like a sewerage monster. Yeah, with the squid hair. Yeah. I'm more focused on the character that we've met, the um, the chick with the with the green hair that wants to work. She's very keen to work. She's in the S rank. She's got green hair. Yeah, very interested in her. But you're talking about the other one, the uh, the leader of that, that crew that we haven't quite met. Her too. I'm interested in, in these characters. Hopefully yeah. they get fleshed out a little bit more. <laughs> oh, you're the worst. I'm joking. I thought you were like genuinely interested for a second there. I don't know if I am. Yeah. Uh, may maybe. We haven't seen a lot of them yet. The more characters, the better, I think. But Saitam is still finding his way. He's realizing what it truly means to be a hero, I hope. At least he's realizing that. And it's but not just like going over his head. Yeah, maybe not yet. Oh, dang. His All head's right. very shiny. Very easy to pass over his head. But um, true. slide over his head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah. He, he was eating that food to help with the hair growth. Oh, yeah. He ate all of it. It's kind of disgusting because that was like the... The monster's hair, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, you don't really care. Yeah, it's nasty. Yeah. Maybe in this episode, Genos helps Saitama out a little more. You know, with the, the written portion of, of things. Maybe teaches him a couple of things, because he can. I would like to see that happen. However, Genos still refers to Saitama as, like, master and teacher. Yeah, that's right. I think Genos just knows that the written doesn't really matter, right? Does it? I think it does. All Very right. important to know what it means to be a hero. I think Saitama will find that out soon. All right. But we just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of our Patreon members. If you guys are interested in getting early access to all these episodes, make sure to check out our Patreon down below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Is that what they're called? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Or like a comet. Yeah, it's heading straight for Earth. Oh shit, all the scientists. I can see it. They're bracing for impact. Yeah, I think Saitama will just punch it away. Oh yeah! <laughs> straight for Z City. Why are you always Z City? Oh, he's gonna incinerate it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they need all the S ranks. Oh. Bang! Shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, everyone's desperate. <laughs> yep. Dragon level threat. 35 minutes. Is he gonna call in Saitama for help? Genos knows that he'd be able to. Oh, he's dang. He's so calm. Yeah. It's just so matter of fact for him. <laughs> He's gonna stay. Oh. Oh shit. What? When I was about to show him the crushing rock of justice and water. Yeah. I wanted to see it. Oh shit, what is this? Is it new? Arms mode! Oh! Hey! Hey, 
Genos is too cool. He's the best. Saitama is just undermining everyone's epicness. I know. Oh. The sweetie pie as well. <laughs> what? Why did he come then? Oh, he's not here, Carly. Piece of shit. And a little coward. Right. Metal Knight. That's lame anyway. I have to agree. Come on, Genos. I was gonna do shit all. What's this gonna do? Shit all. No. I knew it. Here we go. I wish these kicked in. Half a minute. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, true. I love the animation for Genos. I absolutely love it. I know, isn't it the best? I like this dude. I always like the old anime characters. All the time. Yeah, he's pretty cool, isn't he? <laughs> okay. Okay. He put his heart in his arm. Come on, come on, yes! Oh, uh, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> oh, come on. The is gonna come over and... Oh, it's pushing it away though, which is good. Oh. Just... Shit. Damn it. No! So. Is it Saitama? I really wanted the W for Genos there though. <laughs> that hurts. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Epic music. Oh, I loved his animation there. Oh, it's so good. His serious face. <laughs> oh! There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna shoot everywhere though. Yeah, but like dust. <laughs> oh no. Say. Oh shit. Oh dang. Okay. So just because you're strong. That's right. Doesn't mean you can, you know, defeat everything. Oh, does it? <laughs> Crap. Only half of what he needs is there. Yeah. He saved the world but destroyed the city sort of thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, Metal Might sucks Genos though. No one died. That's great. Okay, good. Okay. Shit, Kali, did you see the mangas there? I did. No, Metal Knight didn't deserve to go Six. up. Six. Oh, shit. Five? What? Yeah, well, I mean, he destroyed the meteor. Is he lying right now? Genos? No. Threat level dragon. 
It's the highest threat level. Oh. Someone in the comments tell me what mangas are there, please. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so okay. These are the ranks. Got you. Ooh. Oh, shit. What was the first one? Tiger. Tiger. Oh no. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not this dude again. Tank Top Tiger. I mean, even I forgot his name. Oh no, his brother. Tank top black hole. That's nice. <laughs> it's a nice name. <laughs> it's a shit name. <laughs> Looks more green than black, in my my opinion. He's <laughs> uh, kind of like. Yeah. He's turning the people against him. What the heck? How's he gonna get out of this one? This is not a physical fight, this is a mental fight. He doesn't give a shit, Carly. Look at his expression. You know, whenever his eyes look like Sultanas. <laughs> Sultana's like, you know, he doesn't care. Aww. Oh no. He's gonna go down ranks. Yeah. Yameru means uh, give up. Ah. Okay, I'm learning Japanese as we go, you know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, mate. <laughs> Too much hair dyes clouded his brain, I think. Yeah. What do you mean, finish him off? Work out why they call him Black Hole. Because <laughs> his mouth is just sucks up any bit of life in the area. Is yeah, that why? honestly, Angelo, that's a good theory. PSI, okay. I know that from the tires. You know when you put the air in the oh, in the tires. Yeah. Okay, go for it. That's embarrassing. Saitama's backing himself now. Yeah. Who's he, who's he calling baldies? <laughs> General knows how to read the room. He knew that that wasn't good to keep going on like that. Hey, Saitama was a little bit emotional there for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. He doesn't care for the admiration, Carly. Saitama. Mm. That's a nice message. Yeah. I like that episode. Yeah, that was good. It's my wasn't favorite it? episode, I think. Aww. So far. Not Mosquito? Mosquito died in that episode, unfortunately, so. Oh, that's true. Your favorite and least favorite, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? 
Ooh. Underwater? I think, if I'm not mistaken, Bang's VA is the same VA who does the crazy grandpa shredding guitar dude in Jujutsu Kaisen. Interesting. I think. I haven't been listening close enough to the VAs. He did sound familiar. Yeah, yeah. he sounded familiar, right? Yeah, he did. I'm not sure if that was him, though. But I, I like all the older anime characters, maybe except for that dude in Jujutsu, but he came around anyway in the end. Yeah, it's kind of funny because with the older characters, you're not sure if, like, what their motives are. <laughs> you're kind of sussing them out, like, are you good or yeah. are you, like, on the bad side? Yeah, I guess so. But Bang seems to be okay. Yeah, I, I don't mind Bang. Uh, I quite like some of the S-tier heroes and stuff like that. It's just nice having all these random characters introduced and stuff like that. Random personalities and all of that. Uh, but I, that was probably my favorite episode, maybe along with um, the first or second, I think. Yeah, nice. Uh, episode five was really good with the Genos Saitama fight. Mm, uh, but yeah. that one like was kind of wholesome. I agree. Genos is going to be by Saitama's side. Yeah. Always. Mm-hmm. And, and Saitama kind of showed the most emotion that I think he's shown so far. Yeah. He's like... I don't care for your praise. I just do it. You know? Because I want to. Because I want to. Yeah. Uh, there's still some room for growth there, but as there is with everyone sort of thing. And that was inspirational for for Genos. It was nice that Genos kind of rocked up at that point so he could see that little speech, a little mm. meltdown, I guess. That's true. Um, and he's right. You know, now that you come to think of it, what else was he going to do? He had to destroy the meteor. Yeah. It's like they're alive because of him, right? Yeah, they're alive because of him. Sure, they lost their, their stuff, but what? They were either going to die or yeah. lose their stuff. So and I'm, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what, you know. Obviously, people are going to be frustrated about it, but... uh, No, I like that. I like that episode a lot, to be honest with you. Your appreciation is making me appreciate it more, too. It was a good episode. I liked it as well. Yeah. It, it's such a funny show, so I like it when they put a little bit of heart mm. into it every now and then, you know? Especially from Saitama. Yeah. I just really like it that the, you can see that the animation studio have not cheaped out on anything, and they've really put their heart and soul into this because the animation, honestly, for me, out of everything we've seen on the channel, is second to Demon Slayer. Dang. In terms of like my preferred uh, animation style and, and um, I don't know, just how it looks, it's really, really good. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's second to Demon Slayer for me personally. Mm -hmm. um, granted, Demon Slayer is quite high up <laughs> in the stratosphere in terms of animation. Yeah, of course. Uh, but this is really good. Yeah. I really like it because uh, they mix kind of different styles. Have you noticed that? Uh, yes, actually, yes. Yeah, and it's more superhero-esque, like uh, comic book slash manga-esque. Yeah, that's something that I thought as well. Yeah. I know, like, a lot of animation is, is pretty much just hand-drawn and stuff like that, but you can see some scenes are a little bit more rough and meant to look hand-drawn. Yeah. If you kind of get what I'm saying. It's hard to explain, but I really like those scenes. I know, because whenever you say, like, oh, that looks hand-drawn, people are like, the whole thing is hand-drawn. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I, I know what you mean. I don't know how um, animators animate nowadays anyway with yeah. technology. Um, but nevertheless, like it's, it's really impressive in this in this show. I, I think in next episode, what, what were all those creatures there? They it, looked like under the sea sort of oh, okay. things, I think. I don't know how handy Genos is going to be under the sea oh, with the, the incinerate. Yeah. That doesn't go too well, does it? Oh, by the way, he's animated scene there. Again, he I failed, know. but it still looks incredible, even though he failed. He put his core into his arm. Yeah, I like that. Um, Is that like a he wears his heart on his sleeve kind of moment? Hey, hey, I don't mind that, Carly. I don't mind it either. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, I think so, because I, I was actually going to talk about the duality in... Um, Genos' scene and Saitama's scene, right, with the meteor. So Genos kind of put his heart and soul into it and had the right mindset in approaching this threat, but he failed. Whereas Saitama didn't have the right mindset and, I don't know, mental approach to the meteor, but he succeeded anyway. That's what I'm saying about this written exam business. 
I think it's a lesson for the people, not for Saitama. Does yeah. it really matter in situations like those? Yeah, I, I see that. I Look, I, I think that episode there kind of um, made me really enjoy the show even, even more than mm. I was. Because there are definitely some deliberate writing that they want us to sort of see and understand. And I kind of really got it in that episode, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good episode. Just like going on the logic with the tank top brothers. <laughs> Shit. I guess that would make me T-shirt Carly and you long sleeve Ange. Like, not only are they kind of betas there. They're big beta energy, Angelo. But, they're n- like, their names are trash. Yeah. Actually, Tank Top Tiger's not that bad. It's not that bad, but knowing the person. Yeah, but the black hole one, that's not good. I didn't like it. No, neither did I. The tank, tank Top Tiger, it's all right. I think I praised it in the first time I saw him. Yeah, but like, I hate the character, so now I hate the name too. Yeah, no, but at least he's gone with the triple T, Tank yeah, that's Top true. Tiger. I don't mind that. What's the other bloke? Tank, tank top, top black, black hole. hole. It's trash, man. He's got a green tinge to his tank top. Oh. It's shit. Doesn't all black sort of have like a green tinge? No, like can, can true de- black is like... Don't defend him. No, I'm just saying like they can't animate a true black color. Is that a thing, science people? <laughs> black, yeah. black. Is like, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Don't say shit like you're surprised. I kind of zoned out there for a sec. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's fine. We'll wrap the video up. All right. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.